Welcome to another episode of First Date with me as your host, Lauren Compton. Find out what it's like to date the person in the hot seat. As long as they have good feet. That's a red flag. My guest is Danny Brown, Tom Segura. I'll split your ham for a night, but I'm not gonna... Do you get jealous easily? How do you feel about open relationships? Do you have a sex playlist? Just put on like some Bjork. That's a good one. And she goes, I was offering myself to you. And I was like, what? New episodes every Tuesday. This week on Two Bears, One Cave. Get out of here. Stop fucking. I thought you were going to say it's somebody's job to kill gays. <laughs> you did spend two hours at the bar fucking getting drunk. That's because I'm an alcoholic, Ari. <laughs> I mean, it's been my dream for a long time. Getting your ass licked? Yeah, it just never happened. I'll do it for you, buddy. Really? Yeah. 100%. We are supported by NASCAR. Make sure you get the whole crew together, celebrate this beautiful country with a couple cold beverages, and tune in to the first ever Chicago Street Race on July 2nd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC. Bruchim <laughs> Habayim. How'd you learn that? Ladies and gentlemen, what? my normal co-host is out, and this time... The guy sitting in weighs about 250 pounds less. <laughs> you can see his wrong side of history tour. You get tickets for it at AriShafir.com. Give it up for Ari Shafir, everybody. Where'd you, you even said it right. You even like, the huh. Well, I, I mean, Duolingo, man. It's fucking amazing. Babel. Um, There's no to, way you're taking Hebrew. I love Hebrew, and I love the Israeli people, and I stand with Israel. I love that. If you're like, why do you want to take this new language? You're like, spite. Spite just yeah, I want to hurt my producers. <laughs> Teach them a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Teach these guys a lesson. Um so I did pretty well with that. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fellow you grew up in Crown Heights. Yeah. <laughs> I've thought it was a pretty good mimic. I I I'm, I'm a decent mimic. So people whenever I would uh like when I lived in Boston for a summer, I would go to a Turkish coffee shop, and every time I'd go in Just there, yell N words at black people coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you guys. <laughs> hey, we are we're the same. Uh, no, I would always just ask them for uh, like teach me a for, like. So I would by the time I left, I mean I forgot most of it. I could yeah. say like, "Good morning." Order my coffee. Order or you know order breakfast. Say thank you and see you tomorrow. Like I could say wow. all that. You know, just like learning little phrases. I always like doing that. It's fun. It's fun yeah. when you go to like one and you just know thank you. And thank like you is in, good in Bahas yeah. or Indonesian or something when you say and they're like what the? and they're like hey, yeah are you in Indonesia and then if you learn something you're not supposed to learn you freak people really freak them out like my sister my older sister joined the um the navy pretty old and she did she joined the uh the the language she went to they sent her to the National Language Institute in yeah. Monterey California to learn Mandarin oh damn and so she's in this like intensive Mandarin stuff and then we go out to eat one time and the waiter is like one of those you know like japanese steakhouse but they don't they just are you asian they're like you can do it so <laughs> i'm cambodian like, yeah just get in there yeah, just get in there and we're americans we don't know yeah so <laughs> the guy's chopping up the food and she starts speaking mandarin and this dude has a knife and he goes and, drops it, <laughs> and she's spitting mandarin at him and he's like <coughs> he's like oh. he's like do you know he yeah. tells us he's like do you know how uh, how hard it is to learn Mandarin. And we're like, I, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's not like French. We're like, oh, did you spend yeah. time in? It was just yeah. like, you're yeah. not supposed to know this. He was. And then when I did, I just did Australia and the promoter for Live Nation, Andy. Andy, yeah. Yeah. He brought me to China. So he had lived in China for eight years. And then he started, I was like, tell me about some blowing some people's mind stories. And he was like, he was like, oh, it's the most fun. Cause he ended up being like, fairly fluent in mandarin yeah he was trying to tell us how easy it is he's like it's so much easier uh because because of the way the language like it's just it's just words and tone but there's like he's like you just you just inject words in and everybody know like there's no like um he made it sound, it made it sound like there's less nuance to speaking mandarin really there, the, that's i mean this is according to him but like what's this letter that looks like a fucking upside down bush i mean i don't know i don't know but he just fucking he was like, oh, yeah. And then, yeah, of course, he said he's been in restaurants in New York and stuff where he started speaking Mandarin. They're, and they call people from the kitchen. They're like, you got to see this shit. Like, <laughs> like, call people out, Chinese guys out. And they're like, no shit. <laughs> you know, they're blown away. I think he was saying, he was saying, we were having a conversation about that. He was saying the Japanese is way harder. But I don't know why. I mean, I don't know why. But he said it's much harder. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a, a lot of people speak Mandarin. A lot of, yeah. And they're not all smart. Let's just be fair. They Let's can't be. be. Fair. Yeah. They can't be. And also mostly not. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're shitting in the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love a fucking good Chinese mall shit. Uh, pull your fucking pants up. Pull your pants up, dude. There's a bathroom right there. There's there's don't shit in here sign. Don't yeah. shit on the floor. Don't. Right? Pl- it's yeah. just like begging. Like, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. I mean, because people, most people don't realize that, I don't know, 800 million Chinese people live inland and, you know, farm kind of poverty line people. You know what I mean? Like. Most of them are not Beijing. Beijing, and, Shanghai, yeah. yeah Shanghai, like, yeah. So there's and like, they're just like, what? Are we just shit. Yeah, I pulled my pants. I shit when I need to shit. Yeah, there's those signs. Stop I saw it. a kid when I was there, and he the, he was like about to go shit just in the street, and he turned to his mom, and and I was like, oh, she's gonna get him in trouble, and she's like, yeah, go. go shit, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Cultural like, differences, I guess. Yeah, it's just. A, uh, I mean, it must be also more common to see someone doing if that sign is out and it's prep like. But okay, let's be honest. You're you. Yeah. And you're walking around here, Austin, Texas. Yeah. And then you see somebody shit. Um, you know, Sixth Street. Yeah. Not there. But like a regular person shitting in the park. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. That's crazy. And then you see it again and again and again. And another person does it. Yeah. Another, after how long would it take for it to be pretty regular? Would you go, well, obviously you need to take a shit in this scenario. Would you be like, I'm? it's not weird here? Well, I think you get used, if you were seeing it all the time, You'd be stunned for a few days in a, a few row. Days, yeah. yeah. Then you'd be like, "There's someone doing it again." Like a week later, and then I think like after a month, you're like people just shit where they when it's they just, need it's it. Just yeah. a thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. I mean, but the next leap is like I got to shit. You. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. That's. Would you shit in Zil- Zilker Park? <laughs> Are these emergency shits or like I just got to get? You know what I mean? There's in a, a way, different... every shit's an emergency. In a way. Yeah. Um, but there is there right, is like I, there's I, panic yeah. shits. But okay, not an emergency, not a full like I gotta do it. It's but it's like I don't want to go home. Yeah, and I'm not gonna be able to make it till tonight. Well, if I'm living in this like free shitting world you're describing, I think I I mean, once I've seen it, yeah, a bunch of people doing it. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, what's up, man, and just drop my shorts, I guess. But I think it still takes you a while to get there. You take you like you'll go behind trees at first. Because are are most these people who are yeah you're gonna go behind trees? But are most people shitting in public like that? Thinking about cleanup, like, is there is there paper involved? Like, or, or the, you know what I mean? I think they carry around a little thing little of wipes. tissue paper with them. Yeah, dry wipes. Yeah, yeah. They don't have wet wipes there. Yeah. Like carrying around. No, I just I know wet wipes are so amazing too. Did I tell you that's a guy when I got there to that you did that gig too? It's a small gig and like through China. Yeah. Um, but at the club, he was he gave me a, a packet of tissues, like a small packet, and he goes, "Keep these." I'm like, "For what?" He goes, "You'll know." And it was like, oh yeah, when you're some shit squatter and like there's no toilet paper. Oh, I'm man. like, thank God this guy gave me this pack of tissues. That's nice. I didn't do all of China though. I only did Macau. You did Macau. I didn't do Hong Macau. Kong and Singapore. Oh, oh, you missed the real. You missed yeah, I missed Beijing the real deal. Shanghai. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. Yeah, I bet, man. I just did um, South America, Latin American run a couple months ago. Yeah, Spanish. I did both. So I did, I would do an hour in English and then close with 20 in Spanish. Wow. Yeah. So the, the audiences were bilingual that came, you know? Yeah. Anyone who lives there is like, will at least understand. If they're coming to the show. Yeah. yeah they're coming to the show. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I didn't see anyone take a shit in public. You know what I've, <laughs> I've seen people shit in public a lot or a fair amount was in LA, like in downtown LA. And you know, like you, you just drive in third street or whatever through downtown. And you're just like, Oh, that guy's taking a shit right down it the is, sidewalk. Yeah. It, it is shocking. Yeah. You, it is kind of alarming. You don't expect to see it. Now it's not a guy in a suit. No, like I'm late for this meeting. Kind of suit. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's a guy that lives outside. You know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good fun prank sketch. You just go up to homeless people in a suit. Like, yeah. is this where you guys do it? it- oh, okay, and then you're just like, "How you doing?" I could see the amazing racist doing that. <laughs> That'd be a good amazing racist one. Yeah, <laughs> at the end, like, here's a dollar. Yeah, kids in Israel, they take shits outside. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do. <laughs> Really? Ooh. Yeah, when I went there last time, uh, we took our uh, nephews over to the playground, and my brother's like, careful, that's a shit right there. Like, Human oh. shit? Yeah, because like, they're like, who has the time to go find a bathroom when your kid needs to take a shit? You just dig a hole and let them shit in it. Especially if there's a... Uh, who has know. the time? Many people have the time to find a bathroom. <laughs> well, they're Israeli, Ari. Oh, right. Dude, I was walking home from shul once, 
the synagogue, and, yeah. I, and I wasn't going to make it to my house. It was three blocks, and I wasn't going to make it. And this is in Israel? No, this is at, at, at home okay. in Maryland when I grew up. So the seventh grade, eighth grade, too late for this. Yeah. But it just wasn't going to I was like, no, it's another three minutes. It's not happening. So I ducked on my neighbor's side yard and went in between their bushes and put a human dump. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, and then later, the next Saturday at Shul, uh, there were reports that there was a hate crime. Someone, um, t- yeah, someone <laughs> took a dump on one of the Jews' houses. <laughs> and I had just been like, here's a message to these fucking Jews. I will shit in your yard. They wouldn't target a non Jew. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I like also that the hate crime, they're like, go between these bushes, though. Like, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Right. It should be like a front doorstep. Yeah, yeah. 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 You walk out and you see our shit. You know what's funny about the, uh, you never really explained this one to me. But I want to know this. Uh-huh. And maybe you can weigh on this too, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Because like, I'm going to tell you the full thing and then what he said. Okay. So when we were in LA, uh, my oldest was in, he was in kindergarten, I think. And, you know, when, when you're that age, when you bring your kids to school, like parents walk in and you do, you, you know, you say goodbye. Like in the, it's not like we drop off like a, a little bit older kid, you drop them off at school and they just go in, right? Like they're, they're this young and you walk into class. So you see other parents as my, like you really say, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. All right, good. And you give them their bag. Here's your lunch and I'll be back. We'll pick you up in a few hours. And so you're starting to see some of these parents. And one of the parents that we would see routinely, always he, it was a, it was a couple, but the, the man always dressed the same way. He wore these really thin gray sweatpants and he had a cock on him right <laughs> and it was like it was it stood out in, in particular because it was it was a real big dick and, and, you got a picture of this? and uh and and it was like it's like he's wearing he's definitely wearing this and and it he knows that you're seeing it and it's weird because you're around the, all these little kids right yeah and like maybe they're not noticing it but all the parents are like are you seeing this guy's cock right, now? <laughs> right? like so like the parents that i was friends with i was like did you see and they're like the biggest dick I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I noticed it. Yeah, we all noticed it. And, and you so get it, the outline of it. It looks like a fucking uh, an anaconda that swallowed a crocodile, it, where you can like see the it thing. Like, it like it it hung like the, and then the un, like his sweatpants kind of hugged it. So it really like it's gray like this like the gray like would re, like you know I don't know it was like <laughs> it was like I'm flexing here. It's like you see my bicep. It's like that was his, and that was the outline of it. And it was clearly a limp, massive dick, right? So one day I'm like, he also, he's not friendly. He doesn't say much. Uh, the wife kind of standoffish too. And I go in, I come in, I, I'm telling them about it. And, I'm, and I, I learned that he's Israeli. I tell him, and the dad was like, oh yeah, I can see that, Israeli. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, Israeli. He's like, yeah, I, I got a big dick. That's your fucking problem. And I'm like, how is that? What, what about that is Israeli? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. What about it is Israeli though? I agree with him. You do so, yeah, like, but explain yeah, this to me. It's just like this bravado. Yeah, it's like the Zohan. You know when he's playing fucking hockey sack on the beach. Uh huh. He's just doing wild stuff, and it's just like they got bulges. They like, wear speedos, but not like the other one does. So, but the 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 idea of like you deal with it that to you registers as Israeli. Yeah, that vibe. That vibe does. I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I went to Israel. With my, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Doing it. I don't. I don't get like. Yeah, that's very. It's very. Went to Israel. We landed in Tel Aviv, and then me and my brother we flew to Eilat. So it was a small one hour flight, forty five yeah. minute flight, and we get in there, and there's some Israeli lady, like fifty years old, on the on the on the aisle seat, and the guy in front of her just leans back, and she just goes, taps him and goes, no, uh, uh-uh, nope. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, no, no, nah. don't lean back. Yeah, no, yeah. it's forty five minutes. And that and that okay, so that's like cultural to you. You just speak. You just speak your mind. And he's like, "This is my dick." Like, yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you want me to do? I'm not cutting it off. Yeah, I'm I not cut cutting some. it off. And I'm not going to wear something that conceals it. Yeah. Okay. I want you to see it. It's glorious. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, it really was. It really was. Who wears that? It was crazy. We're dropping off kindergartners. Oh my god. You know, and we're like, come on, man. Daddy, and his dick is, is at every kid's head level. Like it's right at their eye level. You know. Plus, you know, if you, every kid's seen their own dads. Yeah. So then they have to reckon while they're trying to learn letters, like my dad is smaller than this. Oh, man. that's what my son said. He goes, how come your PP is so much smaller than uh, the Jewish guys? And I was like, I don't fucking know. Let's talk about numbers. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of know, Jews, yeah. <laughs> uh, your special Jew 
is uh, on YouTube. I'm yeah. I'm a huge fan of it. Thanks, buddy. Um, it's really good. I actually want some credit because I do remember calling you and saying, what are you doing with that? And you're like, I don't know. And I'm like, you have to go shoot that. Is that not true? It is true, and it okay. did help me. Fucking thank you. Because I was like, I don't have to do. I don't know. I want that to be part of the narrative of the story. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Take it from there. How many R's in narrative? Huh? How many R's in narrative? How many R's? Uh, two? Okay. Is that wrong? No, that's right. Oh. <laughs> but you weren't positive. Oh. I mean, I thought it was a trick. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> that, that joke doesn't work with this guy. Okay. Two bears. It's the other one. <laughs> 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 it was Bernie like, there's none. You're not going to trick me. <laughs> so Narrative. No, none. None. <laughs> I-V-E. Excuse me. Um, um, no, yeah, but, no, you really did help me. Like, get it going, dude. Because here's what I remember. I was, I, was telling, uh, I was telling Jay last night, Jay Okerson, I was like, you know, when, I, when you called me, you're like, I'm doing it at the store. Remember? Um, running it, yeah. Yeah, you're running And this is like a few years ago. I remember I was like, I don't know. I had like, like a tagline and like a, oh, maybe an order thing, but I was really taken by how good it, like it really stood out as a really good, and that, and it, it sat with me. So when you were like, no, I don't have any plans with it. I was like, you're crazy. Like you're crazy if you don't do something with it. Just a couple of things happened in a row. It was all the fucking cancellation stuff. But then in meet, I was like, oh, I'll wait seven months. But this and was, then yeah. COVID. And then I was like, yeah. fuck, now so all the time passed done. and you're like, oh, I'm not going to do anything with it. But I mean, it's also, dude. I put you in the thanks of my thing because you that did. Night. Oh, thanks. Yeah, because like I, you and a few other comments, like, come down, please come watch it, and just like anything unclear, anything that you don't understand, like just let me know. We no. sat there afterwards for like an hour. Yeah, we did. We did. We, we like, talked about the it. Door. I'm like, what, let's break out ideas. That was also a very smart thing. I'm gonna. I should do that more. Have some comments come. Yes, and just be like, tell me what you think. Yeah. And you have to have people who are like super honest and you know. And no, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. We are supported by NASCAR. Well, folks, the wait is almost over. This weekend, NASCAR is headed to the streets of Chicago for an unprecedented road course race through the heart of the city. There's truly been nothing like this in NASCAR's 75 years of existence. And what an epic way to celebrate those 75 years of racing, competition, and innovation than with a -a one-of-a-kind event like this one. The playing field will be as even as ever, considering this will be the driver's first time behind the wheel on this course. The 12 twists and turns throughout historic Grant Park are sure to make for some unbelievable racing, and with playoff spots on the line, who knows what's going to happen. Oh yeah, did we mention it's 4th of July weekend too? Make sure you get the whole crew together, celebrate this beautiful country with a couple cold beverages, and tune in to the first ever Chicago Street Race on July 2nd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC. We are supported by Black Buffalo. I am a tobacco guy. I've always been a tobacco guy. It's the ritual for me of getting around a fire, telling a great story, putting a dip in. If you're 21 and older and use nicotine or tobacco, check out award-winning tobacco alternative, Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dip, nothing you don't, no compromise. Black Buffalo comes in classic flavors like wintergreen, mint, straight, peach. They even have blood orange. All products are proudly made in the USA exclusively for 21-plus adult consumers of nicotine or tobacco. Black Buffalo sells their products online and ships directly to your front door at blackbuffalo.com. You can use promo code 2 Bears to get 15% off your first order. Black Buffalo also sells their products in thousands of retailers across the United States. Check out their store locator to find a location near you. I get mine from the AMPM. Listen, honor your rituals with Black Buffalo. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Black Buffalo products are intended for adults age 21 and older who are consumers of nicotine or tobacco. Um, but man, that thing has, that really took off to me. It mean, took off, dude. Yeah, it, yeah I'm Pull it up real quick. It. It's on YouTube. Um, it's really, it looks good, which is like just a bonus. The fact that it cinematically, you know, like looks stage so cool design, it looks candles. cool as fuck. Look at this. Yeah, Eric Abrams directed it. We really went all out with that. Yeah. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That looks... Like the shine Wasn't the, the thing that like they didn't know that you meant real candles or something? Or somebody was like, are yeah, these real? Th- yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had to hire the, like, the fire marshal for like a haze. And they were yeah. like, well, if we got to hire the fire marshal, can we use real candles? Like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. And we're like, what? Yes. What is this? Uh, pull what? out of it. What's the view count at right now? Uh, five point seven million. Oh, 5. almost 7 at the mi- sweetest number, almost right? Almost there, like six million. Almost there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Three hundred thousand more. Yeah, it, we will be even. Yeah. When the, when <laughs> we get to six million yes. on Jew, we'll yeah. call it. We'll, we're good. You take it down at that point, obviously. We'll take it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a I'll lot get that of tattoo number on that's me. That's a lot of views, man. Yeah, that's a lot of people that have watched that. Yeah, the response has been fucking kind of crazy. Even from like the Jewish community who are worried about it, they're like, "Oh fuck, really? this guy is callous. He's what? what yeah. This is the last thing we have need." Have you had like, um, because you live in New York, mm -hmm. you ever have like Orthodox or somebody like stop you? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a weird new fan base, and so they're coming to the new shows, uh -huh. and they're leaving. Oh, they're leaving. Yeah. They're like, oh, I thought this was part two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, this is not at all. This is like when yeah. somebody goes to see like David Cross and they're expecting the guy from Arrested Development. Yep. They're like, yep. the fuck is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, this is a real guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great. It's so funny. They come in and they're like, oh, he's like, I know where you came from. You came from this last special. Yeah. I'll do my best. But you see you them might. pop up. Yeah, That's yeah, and they're like, mm. yeah, <laughs> they're nice about it. Like, You're like, where are those big hats going? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. You do get some of those like Hasidic -y Jews yeah. coming to like clubs in New York. Yeah, I call them frontier Jews because you're you're not allowed. You're not not allowed to go. It's just yeah. like, why would you go see this disgusting? What? Who? Who's like? Because I'm always surprised when I have done shows where I've seen like Orthodox, and I'm like coming to the to the stand-up show yeah i always thought like with my limited understanding of like the rules like would is that something ortho like that's not out of the the realm they of, wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't like say any of those things that you say right but they can hear it and these the, hearing this no problem at all compared to hearing your wife sing oh my that's God. a major sin really yeah your wife singing hearing your wife's anyone else's wife any oh. woman singing is like you'll see them sometimes at like benefits in israel and yeah. then they'll have some like local singer sing and all yeah. the robbers like oh, gotta get out of here. <laughs> can't hear a woman sing wild religion because that's wild religion. that's um that's going to like could arouse you basically it will arouse you it will arouse yeah. you. yeah even if she's not <laughs> she's good at singing, singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 what was that's that susan boyle not Susan Boyle. Oh, Jesus Who's the fat, the fat one. <laughs> what was it? Was that, that was American Idol or American something? Idol. Yeah, I think she that was, was so gross. Name. And everyone's like, how can someone so disgusting looking sing so well? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> that, Christ. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. That poor lady. <laughs> yeah. That, you know what's got to be fucking just... So, like, we all have our insecurities. Yeah. And, the, and this woman was insecure uh, her, li her whole life. Yeah. And then... What happened was the day that like this aired, people were like, did you see how ugly this lady was? And that's how that's, you know what I mean? That's the press you see. Yeah. Is she's like, like, wait, no. Yeah. Like, she's like, you don't think I felt ugly before I sang? This? I lost 10 pounds before I went up there. <sighs> yeah. And they're no, like, she no. looks crazy. But actually she has a makeover that, that definitely served her well. You know, yeah. like she needed... Like when she sang there, that's obviously where she sang, I think, the first time. Yeah, the top right. Yeah. She, I mean, her hair wasn't doing her any favors. No. Nope. You know? like, she finally brushed. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I heard she got like a, a drug addiction. Really? Like she got, once, I didn't know those people that get like fame. It's like they get access to, I remember Matas Yao, the like the reggae, like he was an Orthodox Jewish reggae guy who got pop success. And his rabbis were like, no, you can go for it. And then, like, yeah, so he was religious. And then, you know, women started going, can I suck your fucking dick? Uh, and then, <laughs> and he was like, no. And then after the eighth and ninth try, he's yeah. like, well, I mean, if you want to. Is this what people are talking yeah. about? And yeah. And then he was like, I'm out. And that's him right there. Yeah, now he's just a regular dude. Wow. That's him before, yeah. With all, look at the long hair with the. Oh, curly, Spanish fest juice. dropped him. Why? Looks like over Israeli, Palestinian. I don't know. He's probably pro, pro Israel. Oh, and then this and the Spanish were like, nah. I guess. We'll see. Questions. What did what is that? Oh, because he gave what does the headline say though? Perceived to be inadequate response to question. Oh. How that's it? You can be inadequate? And they're like, we're done. This is like, I don't know. You're out. Uh draw Tim or what they perceived to be is <coughs> the American reggae rapper was removed from the lineup after he declined. Declined to confirm or deny his position. I mean, that seems like. On the creation of an independent Palestinian. He just declined. Yeah. He's like, I don't. I don't want to comment. And they're like, We're, you're out. You're, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Didn't know, didn't know Spain had such strong feelings. Damn. That is. Uh, 
that's nuts. Yeah. That's kind of nuts. He's like, I'm not even going to talk about it. Like, that's not good enough. That's wild. Yeah, to be like removed from something for not saying something. Yeah, usually it's like, what you want you is said, people to say like, listen, yeah. I'm not a political guy. You're yeah. asking the wrong guy. I what do you think about COVID vaccines? I, dude, I don't know anything about science. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I think people should do what they want. And they're like, nah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> dude, every time somebody, you ever get an interview question that's like just wildly inappropriate for a comedian? Yeah. Do you ever call them on it? Well, I, what I do is kind of what you're saying right now is what I go, you want that for me? Yeah. Like that. I don't know, man. What are you asking me that for? Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't you want an expert or something for this yeah. question? Well, what do you think? You're like, I don't know. I think I'm going to fucking go take a nap after this. I don't know. I started yeah. doing this. I started going, uh, just asking, like breaking the fourth wall and just like, this is why you got into this. And I'm like, what? I'm like, is this why you got into journalism? You did that. For this kind of thing? Like legitimately. What, don't did you want to do like investigative stuff? No, you want clickbait stuff, right? You yeah, want, you want, you and they're like, like uh, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. By the way, I thought last night, this is how, well, it's, it's darker in like comedy clubs and everything, even in green rooms. I just thought you were bald right there, and I didn't realize you dyed your hair. Yeah. I was like, oh, I he's just- I dyed to support Jay for a special. Really? Yeah, and then I showed up. I, he, I can't. You just I dyed, dyed it in solidarity? Because he has this dumb fucking homo stripe in his dumb head. And it's special and everything. So we were going to go on Rogan together. And I'm like, I'll make my stupid fucking hair like yours. And then I showed up like, look. I'm like, where's yours? And he's like, oh, I grew I it grew out. I grew it out like a month ago. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard was at the club last night. She yeah. goes, I thought you burned yourself. Yeah. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, look at that stupid fucking stripe. Oh, yeah. No idea. No idea he dresses so bad. He just does it. He really looks like he fucking, you know, works in the back of the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, if you didn't know, you'd be like, he, you know, could you move these trash cans? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd probably just do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 He's such a nice guy. Yeah. He probably would just do it. Yeah. Like, okay. How was South America? Did you do anything cool besides the shows? I do anything cool. I mean, not by your standards, because you're like straight up. Just have fun. Adventure. Uh, you know, yeah, because I mean, like in, well, like it was great eating. It was like go social. Any, uh, football games? Was it? Uh, no, I did oh. not go to any football games. I've been, I've been to a, a football game in Peru before, but I didn't go on this trip. Um no, I, you know, it was very so. Like, I went to like dinners and and I, I did I did radio in uh, in Buenos Aires. Um, nice. I did um, in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, cool. I did like you know like social outings. The shows were super fun. Chile was really quick. Lima, I saw family too because I hadn't been there in a long time, so that was fun. And then uh, yeah, I couldn't believe because I'd never been to Mexico City. Like just how I I mean I didn't realize it's you know, it's like fucking New York or it's LA. It's the it's, best. It's like, it's so. If not for stand up, I might move to Mexico City. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, the show that scene. I did, I mean, because I did like, like I said, an hour in English. Yeah. The show was fucking fireworks. Like, it was really crazy good. So they never get like American stand up. Yeah. They were, and they were like super doing that. Like, they were people that ran into me after the show. They were like, thank you for coming. You yeah. Know, like, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Yeah. yeah we yeah. love when you guys come do this. It was really cool. Yeah. Dude, I forgot that part of that that uh, we were talking last night on stage about that um, nude beach in Perth. Yeah. So there's also all these. It's a nude well, sorry. beach. So you go because first of all, you do here when you get there, like you want to go to the nude beach. Yeah. And you're like always. You love to be naked. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, without any like judgment, absolutely, let's yeah. go. And it's a beach, you know. Sure. West pa west facing beach. Nice and, beach. Nice beach. Yeah. Really wide, lots of sand with dunes like in the back. Um, Hotties everywhere. No, old gays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just very old, leering gays. Like, I told them to just, like, come right next to you. I'm like, there's so much space, bro. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. I'm going to check out what you got. Yeah. So Nick Cody told me this, that in the dunes, that when they're like, when you do walk by somebody and, and like, you get a response. I'm sure they must have looked at me like, nothing back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just here to air out my dick. Yeah. But uh, once you find a guy you like, you're like, let's go fuck. So you go to the dunes with all these little pathways and stuff, and yeah. you're fucking back there. Oof. The dunes is also connected to where the military tests their artillery. 
Jesus. So somebody's job in the military was to go through the dune and say, stop fucking. We're about to test. <laughs> get out of here. Stop fucking. I thought you were going to say it's somebody's job to kill gays. <laughs> <laughs> get one. Like, go train. Wait till it's full and then pull the trigger. And the gays like, yeah. should we get out of here? Like, no, oh, just Shh. fuck quietly. <laughs> um, wow. So somebody has to be like, we're about to blow shit yeah, up. And yeah. I, and you know, gay, gays fuck so, like they go for it. Yeah. So you know, they're like, we got five more minutes. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, dude on dude, it's like that level of testosterone, just, we, you know, it's like women keep us like civilized, basically. Somewhat civilized. Yeah. They're, yeah. you know, they get, oh, okay. And you're like, all right, I'll be, you know, I got to like, bring it down and get through the day. And then guy on guys are just like, you're, you want to fuck? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. You're like, fuck. Yeah. So jealous. They're both just like, yeah. at the same time. Like, oh <laughs> yeah, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you both went right to that. <laughs> so much fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meeting in parks and shit. Just like, meeting in parks. Yeah. I took a walk. I'm just remembering this right now with my niece. Took mm -hmm. her for like, bat mitzvah and we went camping and then we took a hike, whatever, just, Somewhere on the East Coast, and we passed some old guy with like this comb over, yeah, kind of toupee, and uh, it was like a hike behind a mall and into the woods. And he goes, uh, "How how you doing?" But he's like looking at us, me and my chick and my niece. He's like, w uh, "What's going on?" I'm like, just taking a hike. I'm like, "Okay." And we start going. He goes, uh, "Don't go that way because that's like muddy." And I'm like, "Okay." And so we went like a, a different way, and then we passed like two like fifty five year old dudes on a bench together, and then like passed another couple dudes, but like older. And I'm like, oh, these are like Vietnam era gays uh -huh. who come and like, come I can't and, tell my wife. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even meet you at the bar. It's got to be in the woods. In the yeah. woods. Yeah. Like that's how we used to do it in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, you know what? Respect. You respect. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And when that guy was like, don't go that way. It's muddy. I'm like, oh, it's muddy from cum. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> There's so much cum on the floor. Yeah. You're going to get cum in your shoes. And, yeah. Yeah. Every one of those couples we passed was like looking at this little girl, like a yeah. 12 year old, like get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, and then they were, they were like, oh, I got a fucking daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop sucking dicks. I gotta stop, oh my God. I can't. It's so, so delicious. Let me just get one last dick. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get back to work, hurry up, hurry they up. Yeah. Yeah. They probably uh, are delicious. Imagine if like to get your rocks off. Yeah. You had to go to the woods. You know what I mean? That's the only way you could get hard like, yourself. Yeah. yeah, you specifically. Like if it was if it was taboo enough or like you were so ashamed of what you like, which is just like bone in your girl, but yeah. you were like, if if society was like No way. No. You're like, all right, I'll meet you in a park. In <laughs> we'll on, go hiking in, out there for a while. It's been raining. Like we might slide down the side of the hill. <laughs> it's going to be cold. But if I don't do that, I'll never come. <laughs> I'll explode. Oh, I need it. Yeah, it's got to be terrible. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Did you guys, you see the parody of Two Bears? The, the, the guy. The who, bald guy who does all the characters. Yeah, he does Nadav and yeah. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> so yeah. yesterday, the day before, I was like, this yeah. is funny. Yeah. He's like, I, I love that. Uh, his bird's pretty good. His bird, he's like, I'm going to get a lion. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, what? what? And he's like, I'm going to get a trucks. And then he has Nadav cackling like a psycho. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He really nails it in like 30 seconds. Yeah, he did a great. It was yeah. really funny. It was very funny. Do you even do this with Bert anymore? <laughs> Not really. No, we just did a few. That's good. Dude, I didn't tell you about Bert at the bachelor party, did I? Norman's bachelor party. Is that what he said the N word on stage? No, someone else uh, did. Uh, okay. Someone else did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was a full joke, but it was pretty close. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got, he was like, we're having a good time, but he gets like, he gets drunk. And then like, when he's coming off his booze, he gets like cranky, like a, like probably like your child used to when he was younger. Oh, tell me this. So, <laughs> We're all hanging out. Uh, it's a great beach house. Yeah. yeah. Liz and Norman, just t tons of comics. This is Tampa, Eight, right? Comics. Uh huh. And he's like, I'm going to be the, I'm going to run this party. We're like, sweet. You're the guy for this. You're the party guy. He shows up. We're all at like a beach bar and he goes, I'm ordering food for everybody. And Joe Liz is like, no, yeah. no, I'm going to get what I want to get. <laughs> yeah. I'm growing <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't need you to do this. Yeah. And he goes, oh, Joe's ruining the party. He goes, I don't like everything, man. What? Yeah. 
Oh my God, I forgot about this. So, so we're all having a good time. We're, we're like, what should we eat today? We're not going to go out to a strip club today. We're just going to hang out by the pool and the, and the beach. And we're like, let's get a, uh, what do you guys want to get? And I, I'm, at some point they're deciding on dinner. So I go up and shower and then Bert decides Thai food. So him and DeRosa uh, go to a bar, um, Thai place, uh, five minute walk away. And then, um, so they go to get that. And then Joe Liss was like, I'm going to order some pizzas too. So these pizzas come after, De Ro after okay. So, sorry, so my Bert and, great. Okay. Bert and DeRosa are at this bar drinking heavily at a Thai bar. Yeah. And then they're like, Joe Liss, come get us. He goes, all right, are you ready to go? Cause I'm not, I'm sober. So I'm not yeah. going to sit at a bar with you guys. It's like, just come. It's a five minute walk. Right. They could have just walked the stuff back. By the time he gets back, he's like, where the fuck were you? That's what Bert says? Bert immediately. We were sitting there for two hours. He's like, what two hours? You left an hour ago. It's not two hours. He goes, he's cranky. He's cranky. He's coming off. Yeah, it's coming off or not quite right or he hasn't <laughs> had his sleep. So I'm down at that point, and now there's there's pizzas coming, and Joe's like, and Joe's like, yeah, right, whatever, we got pizzas too, it's no big deal. And he goes, you got pizzas? You said Thai? And he goes, I didn't say Thai. I never, I don't like Thai food, so I never would have wanted Thai. He goes, what the why the fuck did I get Thai food? And he starts just screaming at Joe List, just screaming at each other's faces, not each other's faces. Joe List's like, dude, what is this fight about? I just hacked on some pizzas yeah. to whatever you got. Sure. Uh, uh, so I'm down with my shot. I'm down there, right? And, and by the way, there's this beautiful sunset happening behind them. <laughs> so the rest of us are just sitting there watching the sunset, and these two fucking dorks yeah. are just fucking birds, just screaming at list. It's it was so magical. And then eventually, I kind of chimed in. I was like, I was like, um, we can eat pizza and Thai food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, this isn't a problem. Yeah. By the way, Bert ate pizza later. Um, <laughs> And then he goes, and I'm like, I'm like, uh, I said Thai food was fine. He goes, you weren't here. Don't you ever say you want Thai food. <laughs> he literally said, don't you ever. And he accentuated, say you wanted Thai food. You were showering. Dude, it was the best. It was the best. And then he God. slept for 14 hours. Okay. Yeah. He was out he, after yeah, that. Yeah, he, he was done. That is... Holy it shit. It was so fun. Yeah, can we call him? A hundred percent. Okay, okay. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh, man, this is too good. This is yeah. Good. He started correcting Joe List on his swing, too. Joe was, like, doing this minor league stuff. Yeah. And and immediately Bert shows up, like, Joe, your, your swing sucks. And he's like, what the fuck, dude? Who are you? <laughs> Yeah, there get we Bert to see what he says about fucking screaming at you. It was the dumbest fucking fight. It didn't matter. He we never, were all eating Thai food answers, and pizza though. and enjoying ourselves. Hold on. Let's he doesn't see. answer. He never oh, my God. Guess what? Yeah. Are you here? You there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're um, you're on Two Bears, One Cave, this podcast I do sometimes. Uh, I have... Uh, <laughs> I have... Uh, no, I have Ari Shafir here. Oh, shut up. I just going to call him. He, well... well He's telling a story about you, and I go, I got to confirm this. Uh, it's about it's about a super aggressive meltdown you had at Mark Norman's birth, uh, a bachelor party in Tampa about Thai food and pizza. Does this sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, it sounds very familiar. Okay, and um, <laughs> so here's the story he told that when you went to get Thai food um, with DeRosa, that Liz showed up. It was not that much, but you flipped out that he was late, and then you walked oh, back. That's not, that's not how it worked. That's not how it worked. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you uh, you got back, you find out he ordered pizza, and you're like, what the fuck? You ordered Thai food, and that when Ari jumped in about it, you told him like to not, you screamed at him. That no, he, I did not scream at him. I said, no. I did what I do when I go. I do it to Leanne, too. Yeah. Is when I'm a little bit out of control and someone tries to help me, Yeah. I go, I need to get out of this hole myself. Oh, okay. Okay. And so it was, it was, these aren't mine. Um, and, uh, no. Let me, let me just explain <laughs> how this went down. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I hadn't seen Joe DeRosa in a while, so we said, Joe and I will go get Thai food. Hey, Joe List, uh, you're sober. Can you drive us? And so Joe DeRosa and I went, and we got Thai food. And I said, you know what? 
razzle dazzle. I'm gonna get it for everyone. I'm gonna just get everyone dinner. We'll get $180 worth of Thai food. We'll bring it home. Yeah. So when I have a couple cocktails, we call Joe List and we say, hey, can you come grab us? We're ready. Joe List took a while, which is fine. And Joe DeRosa and I were kind of breaking his balls and we were not treating Joe List. Uh, we were, we were, maybe we were a little insensitive to how Joe List felt in that moment. Okay. I came home with the Thai food and, uh, and they got pizza, and I and I, I didn't melt down. And I, by the way, I was like, yeah, you did. You melted, bro. I melted down. I melted down. I melted. Okay, I, I definitely melted down. Hold on, hold on. I melted down. I definitely melted down. Did I self corrected? You know I self corrected. Okay. I love when he starts telling a lie and then realize, oh, someone knows the facts. You know I self corrected. He said I self corrected. Okay. Yep. Okay. By self corrected. That's weird. Can I? I correct. Can you. I jump in but, though? Yeah. That I think. Yes. I think because I know Bert. I think what part of what was upsetting to him is that when he ordered Thai food for everybody, he's like, "I'm I'm doing this so everybody has a good time and enjoys this Thai food." Which we did. But, wow. no, and that what he. This is why you're my best friend. This is why you're my best friend. <laughs> and then he showed up, and there's pizza. Keep going, he's keep like, going, "What? Tom, keep going." <laughs> <laughs> he shows up and there's pizza and it's like you're kind of like you're kind of like taking the party down a notch that he was throwing for you in that moment you know what i mean like yes. yep. like like the thai food was for all we're all gonna have a good time look what i did for you and yeah. it's almost like you know what you can keep your gift to yourself and that's the way yeah. it, he, he registered it in that moment as he was screaming at ev at, at joe we were all enjoying the thai food yeah we were eating yeah, no, no, thai no, no, food no, no. hold on that's the thing. Okay, Ari, you nailed it. It's all is Joe. And by the way, I love Joe List. I hope that Joe List and I, everyone knows that I have no problem with Joe List. But I was saying to Joe List, all you had to say was thank you. Not, no one wanted Thai food. Joe List said, no one wanted Thai food. You just got Thai food. No one wanted it. And I said, hold on. Everyone's eating the Thai food. Everyone was loving the Thai food. And he goes, no one wanted it. And I said, don't say no one wanted it. Just say thank you. Just say thank you. That's all you have to say is thank you. And the whole thing is like, we said, hey, we're going to get Thai food for everyone. We got sushi, we got Thai food. We hooked it up and we came back pretty wasted. Yeah. And all, and by all the way, by the way, I want to say is, is, hey, we didn't, not, not, hey, we didn't want this. Just, hey, thank you. And if you didn't want it, just don't eat it. Just thank you. They were discussing what to eat for a while uh, while I was up in the shower, and then everyone was discussing which one they wanted. And then Bert just made the executive decision. We're getting yeah, tired. Sound, yeah, I mean, I, I made I, the executive decision because I didn't have time to fuck around and, and wait. And oh, I was like, wait, and what you say, when you say you don't have time to fuck around and wait, you did spend two hours at the bar a fucking getting yeah. drunk. That's because I'm an alcoholic, Ari. <laughs> okay, now, now I'll self-correct. I'll self-correct. You're right. You're right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um. I, I, all I wanted, all I wanted, is someone to say, "Hey, we were we were fucking around. We couldn't make a decision. You made a decision. You got it for us. Just all I wanted was thank you. Not we didn't want this. And by the way, no one else said we didn't want this. Just Joe Liz said no one wanted this. And I went, hold on, you didn't want this. Because Joe, Joe has the palate of a fucking seventh grader. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, and I think he'd say the same thing. Joe List only eats McDonald's. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll get uh, he'll get uh, chicken parms. Louis says when he brings it to Paris, he goes, "Where can I get a chicken parm around here?" That's hilarious. Um, so, yeah. so, but what about you yelling at Ari? That he said you yelled really aggressively in his no, face. No, no, no. I didn't. I did. I didn't yell at Ari. I did the thing to Ari that I do to Leanne when I'm drunk and I'm in an argument and I'm in a hole. And she's and Ari knows me way too well, and and I and I was like I'm the, I need to have, solve this with Joe List because I also didn't know what team Ari was on. I was like a, a huge guy, fuck. I, I we all just wanted it to end. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want it to end though. I was still doing it. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, wait. You know what team Joe I was on? Oh. Up, oh, I, I approached Joe List very wrong that entire weekend <laughs> I, I, the first thing i said to him was hey joe do you want me to tell you what's wrong with your swing and he went nope and then and then did you did you accept that nope no of course not i'm gonna tell uh, him yeah. he's not, he's not yeah. planting off his back foot he's leaning on his front foot i'm with you on that one he's not breaking his wrist yeah. I, there's a lot of, i mean listen is he trying to hit for singles listen. or power well, what are we talking about here come on joe yeah, we're going for a tower. We're, we're trying to hit home runs. I hit a home run at my high school the other day, and I'm 50 years old. I'm fucking hitting dingers. And I, what do you yeah, mean? Your high I school? Fucking I think Joe. 
and I are very different men, and I should have been aware of that. Sometimes I cast a large wake, and I don't pay attention to other people's feelings, and it's the Burt Show, and I and I don't allow room for other people. And, I, and, I, and I'm working on that. I'm working on that. This is a very self-aware Bert we're talking to why, right now. Do you now. remember why you yelled at me, Bert? Do you remember what, exactly what it was? No, what? I said, I believe I said, um, um, uh, like, I was, I think I said, like, I was okay with Thai food or or I was downstairs when you guys, and you said, don't you ever say you wanted Thai food. <laughs> hey, I've got, I've, <laughs> I love that you accept me for my flaws. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to fight so bad too, and I just started laughing. It was so I dumb. Will, I will admit, I will admit, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm a tough friend to be friends with. What? It was a fun weekend. It was a fun weekend, and then I fucking, then I got COVID, or whatever the fuck. I, I fucking, I got, I fucking. And spent the whole last day sick as a dog in bed. Oh, yeah, you passed and I got, out. I got everyone IVs. Remember I got everyone IVs, Ari? Yeah. I mean, I'm a fly guy. We all went fishing. That was a burnt plan. A what? Fishing. You went fishing. That was the a fishing burnt plan. Fishing was great. No, as soon as we're like, we're like, I, I, to Norm, I was like, hey, invite Bert. He might be too busy to come, but like invite him so he feels invited. Yeah. And then he was like, bachelor party in Tampa? Yes, I will be there. Yeah. There's no that way is his turning vibe. that down. No and way. And he goes, let me be activity chair. And we're like, okay. But that's a good thing for Bert. I mean, absolutely. He likes to have a good. He'll have a I good think, time. I think Joe. I think Joe was activity chair, and Mark Norman's like, Joe doesn't drink. He doesn't like doing things. Can you take this over? Oh. And I was like, you yeah, know what? Of course. I, it sounds like I, I want to be friends with this Joe guy. I like this vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you and Joe get along perfect. Yeah, I like Joe a lot. Um, all right. Well, how are you feeling? What are you doing? Are you working? Uh, I'm in. Uh, <laughs> I just did an FS. And interview for Florida State and proceeded to sob, cry for the entire interview, reminiscing about Florida State. It was not the interview they wanted. Um, <laughs> okay. I think they were looking for a cheerful one. I'm in Charleston, West Virginia, doing a uh, show. Yep. I'm calling him back. <laughs> hey, Ari hung up on you. <laughs> Oh, because he heard me promoting shows. I don't know. He just was like, oh, he's, I'm bored. And he I'm just bored. came over. I'm bored with the yeah. promotions. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I love you. Have a, have a good weekend, man. Does Ari love me? Yeah, I love you too, Bert. I love you too. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. All right, buddy. Okay, don't right, you ever bye. say you want a Thai food? <laughs> Dude, it was so fun seeing him like that. And that I was, had to explain to everyone, what's his problem? Like, he's just cranky because That was so, when, when he goes, I didn't do that. And he's like, all right, I, I oh, did, I did it. The full, the full 180 <laughs> when you a catch full, a guy. That's like, a full, no, that's not even, yes. just, but that's such a Burt move. He's uh -huh. like, that's completely not true. Okay, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like when he's realized someone has the info, he goes, yeah. okay, fine, I'll admit yeah, it. Yeah. He, he doesn't remember some shit sometimes, <laughs> yeah. too. Where he'll be like, no. I'm like, yes. And he's like, I mean, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it was fun. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I mean, he that's it's Activity not standard show. for him to scream, though. That's, no. No. I've never really seen it like that. But people are like, oh, I'm like you can't take this seriously. It's over yeah. Thai food. Yeah, yeah. This that's good. That's very good that you that you had that. that You kept it actually from escalating. Yeah, but, and also it was like, they're involved. I'm not going to fuck it. Right. I don't need this heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we're all having a good time. Yeah. It really was, dude. It was such a beautiful sunset going over down over these two idiots. Yeah. Screaming about the food that we're all eating. Shit. I just wanted to thank you. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. It's so Bert, too. Dude, that party, uh, that bachelor party, uh, DeRosa was like, I can't come. I have to do pickups for my advice show. I was like, pickups? What are you talking about? He goes, they, they they need me to do pickups for this thing. And I was like, they have to do it during this weekend. It's batch. And I fucking, I lost it on them. I was like, that's such bullshit. Tell them another weekend. Like, they can't do it another weekend. I'm like, if you're on a sitcom, they would have done another weekend. That's then, fucking bullshit. And then he got him to do it? No. He just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Meanwhile, he was always coming. He was just fucking with me. Oh, really? Yeah. So we get to this bar. That's I'm, I mean, I'm That's losing on my, you're a bad fucking friend, dude, not to come to your friend's bachelor party. I'm like, really guilting him hard Jesus. to where he's like, hey, this kind of hurts. Like <laughs> knowing it's a, so then we're at this bar and he gets a fucking tray of shots, DeRosa from inside and just comes out. We're all like ready. And he goes, anybody want shots? And we're like, what the fuck? 
He just okay. had to be a day late. Was he, I think he was with. By the way, that Tive place was a seven minute walk. They were waiting for Joe List to come pick them up so they'd have to walk seven minutes back to the house. That's really close. Yeah. They must have been hammered though. Yeah. Plus DeRosa and, and Bird are like, they get after bottles. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I can't hang. I can't hang with Bert drinking. No. DeRosa, I finally figured out that he's like, let's do shots. I'm like, oh, I've been with you in this situation before. You're about to throw up. Yeah. And you're trying to get me to go to your level. I just had a flashback to Montreal yeah. like 10 years ago. And we were all out, you know, you're always out late. And I was out there with like, we walked into a McDonald's and it was like, Canane, DeRosa, was it you? Did you do it? I can't remember who did it, but I remember that DeRosa got out his, what he ordered. And we're, it's like, whatever, two in the morning or something. We've been, all been drinking, like burger, and then somebody swiped it so that it would go on the ground. <laughs> it sounds like you. <laughs> it I wasn't me, it was. but I do remember it. You do? That is a fun thing to do. Just yeah, the not, slight tap, whatever you're holding, and just the slightest. Everything, all the food that he just got yeah. just was all on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> on the streets of Montreal. It hurts so bad when that happens to you. Oh. And it's never violent. It's just a light tap enough to make you yeah. drop it. I remember that I was just it like It hurts. <laughs> I was I didn't it didn't send me into laughter. I was like I wish I remember who did it to him. Who did it to him? I think I remember that story. I don't think it was me. I don't think Kyle did it to him, right? Cuz that's like a it's a close friend move to do it's that. It's a close it's a yeah, it's a friend move. I don't know if they were, I don't remember. But I do remember w witnessing that and being like. <laughs> Me and Gomez were talking about this, that that move. Yeah. And we were like, uh, we were talking about downstairs at the stand. And he, he was just like, uh, let's go upstairs and do it to somebody. And we're like, okay. And so we went up there. There was, oh, everybody had glasses. This won't work. If the, it's glass. Yeah. But then some guy comes up, some fan comes over with a bottle, of uh, with a can of Tecate. I was like, hey, Lewis, a big fan. And we both looked at it. And I was like, okay. And I just like. Lightly slapped it, and now this is the Kate rolling onto the floor, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then he started laughing. He yeah. even got he it. He got it. Yeah. I was like, "I'll get you another one." I'm sorry, it, yeah. but, uh, it was such a, but there's something so much more like just vicious. It's like cruel to, uh, to for a guy who's been drinking and just wants and food. just wants. Food. It's so like, bad. You know that, like, because when you order that 2 a.m. McDonald's, you're like, "Can I have and fries and you know <laughs> and, and you're like god this is gonna and the waiting for it is like this you get the dopamine drip 10 minutes of going from on. anticipation and then he just took it and you're like oh this is gonna make me feel so good and someone just goes brah <laughs> your hands and you're like oh my god it's so mean dude <laughs> it's so mean uh, <laughs> and i could see can you see how i was like was that you yeah, yeah. I, could <laughs> I remember we did we did something's burning and we finished these beautiful me renazisi and, and bert over at the old house and we finished these beautiful sliders and then like my thought was like they were presenting it for the camera, like like let's, and I was like, I gotta hit it, uh, I just gotta hit it. Of course you did. And then I didn't for a second, mm -hmm. and I regretted it for so uh, many years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it really bothered me. It kept me up. <laughs> yeah. I, why don't I just hit it and knock them out? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, you think about those moments, right? Yeah. 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 I think I got it back at the end when we did them in New York. We did something's burning, and then we finished like a gumbo. Yeah. And then, yeah, then I was you like, knocked let's, it out. Go, let's go. It's such, yeah. Food is the worst one too because it's ruined. Yeah. You know, if, if you're holding a notebook and you slap it, it's like, oh, yeah, it's very funny. Like, hey, come on, man. Yeah. But food is like, you have to get new food. Yeah. There's people who you can't do it to though. Right? I've done it to those people. Really? Yeah. And they do get mad. Yeah. And then you have to explain it to them. Like, I'm not trying to challenge your manhood. We're just friends. Yeah. And this is, this is part of my friendship. Yeah. 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 This and is what it's like no to be friends with me. <laughs> It's this a, is the price of being lot, friends with me. It's a lot of apologies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's some people that don't, they're not into it. They that. just don't like it at all. No. Yeah. DeRosa said he was, he did it to somebody, that guy we were talking about outside. Yeah. And uh, he said he had a new notebook, some comic. And this is just a nerd comic from LA. He goes, oh, and Joe, Joe's like, can I see that notebook? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, and he just throws it. And the guy goes, pick that up right now. Yeah. And he goes, no, it's funny. Fuck you. And then the guy was like, you pick it up right. Then it was like, now my manhood is challenged. Yeah. And so some waitress picked it up and gave it back to the guy and goes, real mature, Joe. 
And he goes, those two have not been friends since then. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's and there's, not... there's people that like, <laughs> they, they don't play that shit. Yeah. You know? And I don't mean that necessarily. I'm not saying it as a compliment. It's just they're not their vibe. Yeah. That's just, or they take it so, like so personally. And so like as, they take it as such a bullying move yeah. that they see it as I'm standing up for myself in this moment and, and not like, oh, this is a silly thing. Just a silly thing. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. And then if they don't laugh right away, then it does become serious. Like you can just laugh yeah. about this and it's fun. Like it happens to me. Like, people get me on it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you did try to hit uh, Nadav's cigs out of his hand outside, right? I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I did do it. And my rule, because yeah. I have some ethics. Yeah. You do it once. Yeah, you, you don't, don't go, get it. You don't get it. That's good. Yeah, you don't just keep smacking. That's bullying. Yeah, it's like some you real, got one shot. It's like some mob shit. You got. We don't go after the women and children, right? Right. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, one here's shot. A, here's a fun one. You could all do this at home. You get if somebody's eating gum and you're like, "Can I get a stick of gum?" They'll hand you the pack usually. Yeah. Take a piece out and then empty the rest out. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a dollar or two for a pack yeah, of gum. Yeah, yeah. It's not restrictive, but they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's such a fucking asshole. Move. Like, Aw. Yeah, because you can get gum. You, know, you, you know, can just get more you're gum. Not, like, you're not, you're not um, counting on gum to keep you fed. You know what I mean? Like, you're not like, I'm not going to eat today. Yeah, like, right, right. Yeah. It's just like a little side treat kind it's of like, thing. Uh, I was like, no, this is the right thing to do. Yeah. Fuck. I haven't done something like that in a while. It's fun. Yeah. I be, you know what I've been doing? I've been farting at Nadav, then I wink at him. He doesn't like it. <laughs> That's fart what, at him? No, like, I'll just, I'll, if I look at him, yeah. and I'll fart, and then I'll go. Yeah, he's like, I don't like that. That's very familiar. Yeah, yeah. Can't confirm. Hate it. <laughs> Farts are really still really good. Yeah. Your kids like those yet? <laughs> yet. Yeah. Do you know what happens every night? Every night. Get them in their room. It's a whole fucking, I mean, it is a, it's a, It's like you need a game plan, you know, to mm -hmm. get like kids to like. Go to sleep. Oh my God. But like, you know, pajamas is a whole, then you have like teeth brushing and then you're like complete, just get in the fucking bed and they get in the bed and then you're like, put your head on the pillow. Like, you know, they just want to keep, you get it. Cause you remember being a kid you, you don't want to go to bed. They're like, all right, we'll go to bed, but you got to tell us a poop story. And so. <laughs> And then oh, what I'm an like, interesting dad. Yeah, and so you start. <laughs> like I have many. Yeah, you start like telling them like the things that stand out, and you're you know like oh this one time I shit my pants, and they you're killing, <laughs> like I've killed a few times on stage. We're like that's memorable, and these guys are like, oh, I can't breathe tears. They're like that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever. And like if you tell them about diarrhea, you know like shit in your pants or a huge shit, like any of that, they're like that's the best. Can you tell us another one now? And you're like, all right. So the first week, you're like, you're telling like your big life shit stories. Well, you know, after a couple of months, you're like, I don't have that many. Like, I'm out of like big stories. Yeah. And so then I'm like, all right. I remember my dad had a couple. I tell like my dad's stories to them. Then I remember like friend. And then all of a sudden, like two months go by, you're like, I guess I'm just gonna make up shit stories now. So I just make up. I mean, stories. that's what bedtime stories were. Yeah. Right? But now they're like, tell us. And then I go, I'm out of stories. They go, tell us one of the ones you told us before. It's okay. I love that story. <laughs> like, so I tell the whole story again, and they're like, oh yeah, I remember this one. It's a good one. Remember when you shit? <laughs> yeah, they love it, dude. They love it. I've been sharding a lot lately. You have been. Yeah. You have a crazy ass in altitude though. and stuff. Like in planes? No, or, no. like uh, oh, like, like up mountains, mountains and stuff. Yeah, I just charted on a ski lift. Oof. Yeah, that sucks because you have layers of clothing on, and yeah, and it's taking you away from the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got to ski down with it. With it, yeah. And then you really Are once these you big shits like well, what a shark you don't know. There's yeah. such a range of what it is. What it could and you be. You got to yeah. find out. It might just be like almost nothing. Yeah. It might just be like oh, those are stained, or yeah. it might be like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I got a shower. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had to get snow and like scoop up snow and wipe my asshole off in the oh, woods. How bad was it? It was like some. It's like I don't know, maybe like that much. It was like it was like it kept coming a little, but then it's like, thank God for the snow. But then I think too, it's like somebody probably skied by. I could just ski to the woods, yeah, ski alone. But then someone probably skied by there later. I'm like, what a serene. Yeah. beautiful and you're like oh human shit you know like <laughs> rabbits don't wipe their hands off <laughs> oh, fuck do you uh do you, you do you still have like that swollen hemorrhoid yeah i have it you want to see it no but does it still like once in a while 
So you can go a period of time where it's not an issue at all. Yeah, and then sometimes it'll just pop out. Uh, the blood is the main problem. That it bleeds all the time. That constant. Have you ever thought about getting it, like, you know, addressed? Marketed? Oh. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. Can, yeah, no, they tied, like, the, they do the tie the hemorrhoids off. Mm -hmm. So they cut off the circulation until yeah. it, like, dies and falls off. Yeah. They did that, and then it didn't help with the bleeding. He's like, oh, you must have some inside ones. You got to do surgery, surgery. But then it's like two weeks of like not sitting down. Because there's that, um, what was the video? The original one from like years ago. Yeah. Jew the clam? In the Jew clam. Yeah. You get that? <laughs> Homer Simpson's, yeah. Homer Simpson's mouth. Dude, uh, that's, yeah. is that, yeah, they, they tattooed my butt onto as Homer Simpson's mouth. Jesus Christ, man. It was uh, the Jew clam. Yeah. Red Band shot it in the Cap City green room. I remember that. I, I thought, because I, I, I was wasn't there. sure. I was there. Remember? Oh, that's right. Like, we had just kind of met. I didn't really know you guys. <laughs> and I saw this. I was developing my sense of humor. Uh, but here's the thing. I saw this and I pulled Red Band aside and I go, look, man, I'm really concerned about what I saw <laughs> with um, Ari. And I had like genuine concern. Like I didn't really know you, but I was like, that guy needs to go to the hospital. You know? <laughs> and I was like, don't tell him that I'm telling you. that." Like I did that thing. Like where you, yeah. I go, I'm just like, I'm telling you that I'm worried about this guy. And he was like, okay. And then like, I don't know, an hour later, you're like, I heard you're really worried. I'm like, I was like, <laughs> I go, hey, dickhead. And he thought it was so funny. <coughs> oh, man. It was me shitting and I had the door open. And then I was like, as a joke, I thought, because I couldn't, I didn't know what I felt. It was something in there. And that was when you first discovered? That, that's yeah, you? I didn't know it looked like that. I thought I had it, a piece of poop just coming out. And so I was like trying to show him poop. But he goes, there's no poop. That's just your skin. Oh, my God. It was so oh yeah, crazy. they kind of it's one of the things that kind of got scrubbed from the internet. It's been wiped. Yeah, really. It used to be on like the just me. Have or, you ever shown it to like a girl you're seeing? No. no, no. I had one girl try to eat my ass, and it was like you don't want to be there. I couldn't concentrate. I was like, I don't know if did you're you know if it was in or out. Like, are you like it's it's never. I mean, it's never good looking. Yeah, it's never like and you. A, you told her no. She just did it. I just felt uncomfortable. Really? I was like, uh, I just felt bad for her. Wow. Because you knew the state uh, yeah. of your ass. Yeah. I mean, it's been my dream for a long time. Getting your ass licked? Yeah, it just never happened. It's not going to happen. Christina. She's not going to do it. Yeah, she's not going to do it. No. I'll do it for you, buddy. Really? Yeah. You know, the thing is, you could probably talk me in, and then, like, <laughs> right before uh, it would occur to me, I'm like, he's not going to lick my ass. Something else is. Like, right at the last <laughs> second. <laughs> <laughs> do we were at Skate Fest and, and Lewis, we had some agreement to do something. And I was like, I got him to agree. He goes, and he goes, if you don't do this or whatever, it, was, it goes, I'll suck your dick if you do this or whatever. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, I'll just put your dick in my mouth. And I was like, and everyone's like chanting, you know, like Legion of Skanks fans. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Put my shirt over my head and I uh, took my pants down. And he's like on his knees in front of me. All he had to do was go, mm -hmm. oh, oh my like that. God. And we're like, let's do it. And he's like, okay, okay. And he drinks some water. He's like, okay. And he gets down there and then he just punches me in the dick and throws the water in my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, like you're not going to suck my dick. Oh, right. <laughs> Fuck. Just like you being like, uh, I will eat your ass. I'd be like, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> bent over. And then like right at that last second, I'd be like, that doesn't feel like a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I love those ones where you're like, as soon as you get wronged, you're like, oh, of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was very stupid of me. <laughs> what time is it? All right. Um, we got to wrap this up. Okay. The wrong Side of History Tour. I'll be in Chicago at the Vic November 4th. Uh, um, Minneapolis, Madison, all these places around the Midwest. We're starting there. Tickets just went on sale for everything. Tickets. Wilbur at some point. Good, good to, oh, the Wilbur is fantastic. Doing a, doing a little theater tour. Ari Schaefer. It's pronouncing that a little incorrectly. Oh, Ari Shafir. Someone's learned Hebrew. Shalom. Uh, <laughs> Ari Shafir .com for tickets. Um, that's it. Anything else? No, buddy. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Doing my and show yesterday. Oh, that was selling show. That fun was to do. So fun. I'm listening. It's fun because the crowd gets so like. Go ahead. Give us. We'll, we'll try something. Yeah, yeah. That energy is important. Yeah. You need that. You need shows like that where it's not like. All right, just kill. Like, dude, like, yeah. make me, like, make this amazing. You know, like, you need that thing of, like, that show, the reason I love that show is a show where it goes, try to figure something out. And the audience is like, oh, they're trying to figure something out. It's like, it's established. Yeah, they get with you. I try yeah. to tell them early on. And then on. when, and they're, here's the thing, they stay 
honest. So, you know, there's like lulls and you're, but they're like, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah. And then if you're hitting something that's working, you're getting that reaction. When you get to like the ridiculous part of the story, people yeah. really get into it. Cause like, yeah. oh my yeah. God. And you happened. can really like the story. I mean, I never told the ODing story as like I did it on your show. I rehearsed it on your local show. Yeah. And I did it on your show and then I never made it uh, a, a, a bit. It was just yeah. like, I just left it as that. But the other stories I did on This Is Not Happening, uh, I did them on stage for a while. Like they became bits. Yeah. I think when you can figure out a story from like your show and then do it as a bit, you're like, oh, this is great. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool because it gives you an idea to do a story. Or like, do yeah. you, especially when you used to do themes. We're like, do you have any like uh, dad stories? Do you have any uh, friend stories? And then someone would have one. Like, let me think of one. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then you're like, it gave you the incentive to think of one. And then you continue it. Yeah, you know, on the road or afterwards. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna definitely talk about the uh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. And, and the other one. I'm gonna, uh, the the mom yeah. one. Like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on those. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, thank you, and we'll see you guys next time. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call. Two bears, one cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur protology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.